Exactly. So today we're talking about you are the villain or everybody is a villain in someone's story, someone else's story. Who's saying is that? Write it in the comments below. It's, it's somebody's quote. So that's what we'll be talking about today. So basically, the conversation is starting. First of all, I want you to understand our talks aren't to bash anyone but to free ourselves. Because that was that, that was it. So I was coming from the, the, the point that, all right, so I've been back in my hometown. I, I don't have the greatest affiliation and feeling. I always feel like I didn't belong there. So as some of you know, know you know me, you know Eden, you know Marley. We spent a lot of our lives in London uh, because I'd had enough. I'd had enough of, at the time, my precious husband. How are you, darling? We're still married, 20 years we've been married. But you haven't been here, you left 17 years ago? That's another story. Anyway, I was just tired of leaving my house and people approaching me about my sh ish, try not to swear, my sh like they knew my story better than me. I was just like, I said to my cousin Alicia, who is now dearly departed, God rest her beautiful soul. You know what, I've had enough, I was going to uni and whatnot. She said, why don't you just come to London, innit? I'd not long um, moved out of her house because we were living together with Baba Eden. Um, excuse me, but I decided to stay because I wanted Eden to have a relationship with her dad. Is my fly down? Is it? A little bit. Oh, I wanted her to have a relationship with her dad, regardless of the weird stuff he was carrying on with, which I now know is... That bastard. Narcissism. Yeah. He's a covert now. Hello, flying monkeys and enablers. And um, it just didn't work out. I didn't understand what was going on. I just, it was just stressful. And I was tired of people telling me all kind of stuff that just was not true. Now, in my life, I'd say, um, people judge me from my younger days, 25 years ago to be exact, probably more, 25. And I've still got people judging me from two years of my life where I'd run away from home, where I'd become abused and promiscuous and lost. Um, I even had something called splitting. I even made up a whole new character just to like not be who I was because I was always a problem. I didn't know why, I just was always a problem. And uh, so based off that, I feel like people just felt like it, and still feel like it's all right to make up stories because based off who I was. Then I've been so many different Naomi since then, and I'm still having to put people in a place and tell them this is not 96, 97 or 98. You know what I'm trying to say? We're not, not there. Furthermore, in them whole 25 years, all right, let's say, let's say, oh, 23 of them, I've been a reformed character and working on myself. What, what have you, you been, been doing? doing? What mockery have you been keeping up? How much man you been lying under? How much girl you been with? In my 11 and a half recent relation, years, recent relationship, what was you doing? So why are you still drawing up my name in things where I couldn't have even been there? Mm. I wasn't even in the city. You understand what I'm saying? And for the record, I never ever cheated on a man. I don't need to do that. 
I'm very raw. I would just say to you, this ain't working. I can't feel it or some shit like that. Yeah. I'm like that. I don't need to do that shit. What I will tell you is, if something happens like going to a party that you ask your partner to come to and he laughs and says he wants to go out with his friends and leave you, and you wake up with a DJ's head in your panty brief and you tell you, your man, and he uses that to tell everybody that you cheated on him when the truth was he went out and was cheating. But I only find these things out years down the line. Because I'm one of these women that I don't, I don't ring my man like, where are you? That's not me. I don't breathe down my man's neck. It's like this. I trust you. And if, if I find out that I gave you all that trust, and you didn't deserve it, then that's on you, bro. Big facts. I'm not that kind of girl. And unfortunately, all women, it's, I've ended up in relationships with people that faked the funk and pretended to be like loyal and down for it. I'm a, I'm, I'm a die, ride or die chick. I'm mm. one of them, I really Period. am. You know, and unfortunately, I didn't see my condition that I was conditioned to, to and attracted to narcissistic men. I had no idea. So like in their story, they're gonna tell you she was a witch, she was always on my case, and blah, 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 blah. That is, that's not me. I do ask questions though. Despite being totally bamboozled and conned by these types of people, I always ask questions. There's always an intuition in me that something's off, you know? And people like that who are being playing games and conning you don't like you to ask questions. Not allowed. So what they do is they go around and smear your name so that when you do fully wake up, by the time you start talking to people, everyone's decided you're this witch. Anyway, all I'm saying is this. Everything is a lesson. And... At the, end of the, at the end of the day, there are times in your life where you'll probably, you probably are a cow. Occasions, maybe you're in the post office or something. You're the person that cooks people up in, in the queue. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And the person goes home and says, this stupid cow, I'm waiting for 20 minutes in that queue. She just come and cut me up, she didn't care. And she told her, excuse me, there's a queue. And she just carried on to the front. You could be yeah. a villain in someone's story because you did something like that and they're still vexed every morning they get off. Every time someone cuts them in the queue, they think of you. What are you saying, my youth, man? That just well, you're quiet, because man. Because you had to talk, talk the truth. Okay, you know what I'm amen, saying? amen. Exactly. What I can say here, yeah, I have been a villain in a few people's stories, even though, like... I will admit it and I'll, I've apologised to those people in particular. But there's one person, yeah, just one person that I can think of where, like, I kind of violated them because I was talking about her wig at school because she came for me, innit? And, you know, school, school, rumours go about and, and fa factual things happen as well, innit? So, um, <laughs> she tried to test me in class. And I said, you know what, I'm sick and tired of people coming for me, so um, I'm going to tell you about your wig and tell you you need <laughs> to put it on. And I did grey wash, you know, do something. And um, also, I heard that you're at a party washing your front in the sink. So, um, oh. yeah, that's what happened. And oh. it caused a bit of beef. And yeah, I have said a few things yeah, and hurt a few people's feelings. Do you want to say sorry? Not really. But Excuse me? That's sinful. That's not righteous. Not You're really. To be righteous. Why don't you want to say sorry? I mean, I'll say it. Say, but but you got to mean it. Don't just say it. You got to mean it from of your course, heart. Of course, of okay. course, of course. But I don't apologize for that situation, innit? Why is that? Because you don't come for people. You know, when people are relaxed and chilling and living their best life, you know, <laughs> and just. You know, having good vibes and you come and disrupt it. Yeah, it's true. You, you have to the put way. them in their place. Yeah, it's true. Like, if I've done something really, really out of line, then, okay, I'll just be like, shouldn't have done that. I'm really sorry. I know I hurt you, okay. Admit it. I agree. But you, you, here's the thing, like, I, I accept that sometimes people don't want to forgive you. That's all right. Yeah. That's, you got to accept that sometimes. You gotta take it on the chin. 
but that doesn't mean you have to stay at that place. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean like, all right, for instance, I give the um, analogy of a diamond. There's people walking around pushing ring in your face, look at the ring, uh, every time they talk. You know what I mean? But that diamond was in the dirt. Yeah. It was in the, it's a dot, dotty piece of rock. And it had to go through a, a process and a system to clean it and shine up to make it um, something beautiful. Something beautiful, something that it has value. Yeah. You understand? It might have been a dotty rock, but no, you can elevate yourself Say out of the Maya. Then touch! Exactly. Yeah? yeah, and become what the judge I most I want you to be. Or if you think you're your own god, oh, no, just look at the it. world. Loads of us gods running around and we've mashed up the planet, so I'm just saying, don't be the villain in your own life any longer. God bless you, good night. Yeah, guys, like, comment and subscribe. Um, follow our Instagrams. Stuff will be in the description box. So... Do that, have a blessed day, and uh, stay comment, righteous. Don't comment, we don't care. Do we care? Not really, but interaction <laughs> would be great, you know what I mean? So, anyway, give your best life.